Good morning. Welcome to Ainsley, Ainsley News. It's December the 3rd today. A little bit of rain up in southeast Queensland to cool things off. Platinum, the bullish investment setup. Interesting discussions about this precious metal today. Often the forgotten precious metal, the investment setup for platinum is one that is deserving of more attention. The latest quarterly report from the World Platinum Investment Council outlines this bullish setup. But first, let's step back and look at what has been happening in platinum, its PGM brother Palladium, and gold since 2013. Here's this chart here for gold, which I'm sure everyone listening is very familiar with. Just back to 2013 there, so you can see that shape of the graph. Next uh, chart we're showing is platinum. Oh, sorry, palladium. Growing up to 2020 there, sitting around 2411, and lastly, platinum. And suggestions that platinum might be ready to go up. These last two charts tell the main story for platinum. Both platinum and palladium are important components in the manufacture of catalytic converters for petrol and diesel vehicles. As you can see, palladium used to be a fraction of the price of platinum, and so manufacturers figured out how to substitute palladium for platinum and geared up plants accordingly. You can see what that then did to the price of palladium in the chart to the point where it quadrupled and it's now at US $2,412 or 34% more expensive than gold. Whilst platinum nearly halved down around US $1,015 and is now nearly half the price of gold. It's supply and demand 101. There were other factors at play too. And the reason for the charts above being from 2013 in terms of platinum's price from 2013 as well. We wrote a two-piece in-depth look at platinum per se and then the breakup of Anglo and Johnson Matthey in 2013. Those links to those articles are in comments or you can jump through into ainsleybullion.com.au and you'll be able to see them there. They are must-reads for anyone looking at this precious metal for further diversification. Turning back to the catalytic converter story, now it seems that manufacturers are gearing back up now towards using platinum again to reduce their cost, but importantly, are not widely discussing it as they want to load up on platinum before the investment market realizes. It is also now becoming more widely accepted that diesel, for which platinum is more effective, is being increasingly recognized as the more green of the two fossil fuels. Before we get into the highlights, we're going to talk about uh, an excerpt from the report on the exciting development of green hydrogen, and that's also where platinum fits in. Green hydrogen, produced by the electrolysis of water using renewable electricity, electricity as the power source, is key to decarbonisation across many industries and is attracting significant policy interest. During 2020, more than 70 countries, plus the EU, pledged to achieve carbon neutrality by 2050. Importantly, China, which previously focused on environmental policy measures to improve air quality, has now pledged to be carbon neutral by 2060. Hydrogen is highly versatile with applications as a feedstock, a fuel, an energy carrier, and for storage of renewable energy. Platinum's role in the hydrogen economy is crucial. It is used in fuel cells and in electrolysizers, or sorry, electrolyzers, to produce green hydrogen, where it can be used in conjunction with iridium. A recent announcement breakthrough by Horasis or Harrius cuts iridium requirements by up to 90%, unlocking more widespread adoption and increased demand for platinum. The report is long and detailed, it's about 30 pages, so we'll just give you some key highlights here. COVID-19 hurts supply more than demand. Poor supply and stronger demand saw a Q3 deficit of 700,000 ounces and takes full 2020 to 1.2 million ounces. Of deficit. Forecast deficit for 2021 is 220,000 ounces. Total platinum demand in 2020 is forecast to be 7,940 um, uh, kilo ounces or 5% or negative 410 uh, KOZ, lower than 2019 due to reduced demand in the automotive industry, jewelry industry, and industrial segments. However, weakness in these demand segments is expected to be partially offset by continued strong investment demand, with investment volumes expected to pick up. 32% to a record high of 1,659 kilo ounces. Heightened global risk is expected to continue to drive investor demand for hard assets with their 2020 bar and coin demand forecast to grow by 123%, which is huge. Check out these next charts show here. Demand end use shares 2019 versus 2020. Investment there growing by about 6% 
which is considerable. And the annual total demand and annual change for the next chart here for 2019 to 2020. Total platinum supply in 2020 is now forecast to fall by 18% and reflects a 22% decline in refined production and a 10% decline in recycling supply. The investment case for platinum has become more compelling as 2020 has progressed, supporting strong gains in platinum invest investment, in particular growth in ETF holdings of over 600 kilowatts since platinum's March and April price lows and bar and coy demand in the first three quarters. Investor interest in positioning increased further based on positive developments in 2020. These included the stronger than expected V-shaped recoveries in automotive markets, sustained pandemic related risk driving precious metal investment demand and severely reduced supply. That all contributed to the record uh, deficit for set or forecast for 2020. Automakers and auto catalyst manufacturers have not published details of the extent to which platinum is currently being used to replace palladium. It is proprietary and confidential information and publication would risk increasing the platinum price. We believe that the amount of substitution is far greater than limited public information might suggest, suggest and that Substitution volumes are likely to increase rapidly in 2021 and beyond, as the successful replacement of palladium by platinum is applied to a higher, higher portion of new gasoline and diesel models launched. I'm going to show a table here providing a full breakdown and history on all components of supply and demand. Note too the absolute concentration of production in the unstable South African and Zimbabwean environments discussed in those previously talked about articles that we'll link back at Ainsley Bullion. We'll pause there and you can have a brief look at this detailed table so it can make more sense for you, showing supply and demand within different industry. Remember, jump over to ainsleybullion.com.au. You can read all of our news and go into this report in more detail. Go to ainsleywealth.com.au for all of our cryptocurrency products. If you're keen to buy Bitcoin, that's the place to jump into. You can buy it exactly the same way as you buy from Ainsley Bullion for your precious metals. Curiously, you can also swap bullion for crypto in a pretty easy transaction over the counter with Ainsley as well. Enjoy your Thursday. We'll catch you tomorrow for more news.